A simple registration form that also takes payments for occasional events like clinics, workshops, or retreats is a great way to let your customers sign up for your offerings 24-7. It also helps you manage the business side of these events with ease. So I recently set up a form um, on one of my client's sites, the National Pitching Association's Northern California Division, the NPA NorCal, that has made signing up for one of their group classes or camps really easy. And for the coaches, this means less time working on admin duties. So to make this work, what I did, uh, what I did was I used the free Ninja Forms plugin and the Ninja Forms PayPal add-on, which costs just $49. So let me show you how I put it together. So first, if you don't already have a PayPal account, then open one. It's very simple and the basic plan is adequate. So by that I mean just go ahead and sign up, um, choose business account because you're running a business. And at this point I recommend just using the PayPal um, payment standard. The next thing you'll need is the plugin, the Ninja Forms plugin. And so all you have to do, um, actually I should go back to the dashboard here is in your dashboard go to plugins and um, I just clicked installed plugins I meant to click add new so just add new and then um, type in ninja forms here in the search and you'll pop up right away I've already got it installed so um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that step and then the other thing you'll need um, for this to all connect seamlessly with PayPal is to use the PayPal add-on, the um, PayPal Express add-on from NinjaForms. So what you would do is then go to ninjaforms.com and right at the top click add-ons and select there, let's see, where is it? Hello? Oh, there it is, um, PayPal Express. And if you're just using it for one single site, most likely, go ahead and purchase that. And when you get your email receipt, there's a very important license key that Ninja Forms will give you. You need to copy and paste that and then put it in the settings area of the Ninja Forms on your WordPress site. So let me show you quickly how to do that. Okay, uh, let's see. Once you've installed the Ninja Forms plugin, go to the settings section, click licenses, the licenses tab, copy and paste your um, license in here and then click activate. In my case we've already activated it so I'm not going to do that but it would say activate if you haven't yet put it in. Once you've completed that you're done. So now it's time to go and create your form. So the next step of course is add new under Ninja Forms and for this we're going to select an event registration and the rest is incredibly easy. Ninja Forms has already populated this um, form with quite a few things that you know it thinks that you probably need but if you don't want any of these things some of these things at least you can just easily hover over the little cog wheel there and then click the trash can to delete it so if you don't want to get people's phone numbers you can delete that too get rid of the divider and so on how many friends you'll be along <laughs> bring along I don't know um, to edit any of these fields you just click on that cog wheel and you can change that to something very simple like um, will your spouse attend something like that and when you're done just click done and it's in there now to connect with PayPal Express to collect payment click on emails and actions click the plus sign select collect payment and under payment gateways just select PayPal Express and you're good Oh, wait, one more thing, you've got to add the amount. So let's say your, your event is, you know, $150. There you go, and you're done. One final thing that I'd like to show you very quickly is that in the advanced section, um, you can give a, a new name to the form title. And this could be something like webinar, done. So you've changed that. And also under restrictions, you can limit the, no the number of people who attend your event. So just click restrictions under advanced and then set the limit. Let's just say you want 30 people and no more than that. And then I suggest writing some kind of limit reached message. You could say something like, um, if you want to be notified of an opening, please contact me and ask me and ask to be put on our waiting list. We'll be in touch as soon as a spot opens, something like that, just so that people know 
um, that there might be a waiting list and you can go ahead and put a contact link right here it works just like the rest of WordPress um, to whatever contact um, email or page you want them to go to click done and when you're done hit publish and you have completed your form so um, the next thing you'll want to do is close out of there and then I'll show you all the different um, names of these uh, forms that you've created and all you need is the short code right here you just need to select it copy it and paste it into the uh, page where you want the form to appear so I'm going to show you a live uh, form I kind of did that already this is the group conditioning and skill workout that the NPA NorCal offers and um, it's pretty much you know what you saw in the back end just first name last name date of birth and some other um, important information as well as uh, a security question and then once the user hits register it takes them automatically to PayPal where they complete the transaction pay you and then they're redirected to your site so really nice simple and easy very affordable to put this whole thing together now there are other options out there in case you don't want to use ninja forms or you're already using another popular form builder so you can do this with um, WooFu Forms, Formidable Forms, Contact Form 7, um, and Gravity Forms. Those are just the options that I'm pretty familiar with. I know there are quite a few more out there. So if you're a small business and all you need when you have a special event or an occasional class or a workshop is to get people to sign up, give you a little bit of information, and then pay through PayPal or Stripe or whatever it is you need them to do, you can do it this way. I hope that this has been helpful to you. I'm Mari Pfeiffer, writer and web designer. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Or go to my website, maripfeiffer.com. Thanks for watching.